Hi guys, Drew with Drew Talks. It has been a long week in the state of Montana. Last week, Governor Bullock put in a decree requiring all of us to wear masks over our faces. And uh, it's been pretty rough on people. And everyone may say I'm being dramatic about it, but um, I go out in public a lot. And I have I've seen what is going on. Um, the level of anxiety. Um, we have little tyrants running around everywhere. And I think what saddens me the most is this year, I never fully realized how entitled everyone felt to everyone else's body. It's absolutely perverse and disgusting that people believe they have the right, for whatever reason, to someone else's body. And it saddens me um, people that seemed so civil liberties up until this point, the second it becomes difficult for those civil liberties to be unheld, upheld, they uh, are willing to throw them right out the window and walk all over their neighbor's rights. And even ones that are saying, oh, the key is education. You're not educating people by forcing them to do something. So you can say online, what I really want is to educate people, but if you're supporting mandates that are taking away their rights, no, you don't. You support getting your own way because it makes you feel safer. Um, I think that if a cloth mask eradicates viruses, that they would have done it hundreds of years ago and then there would no be, be no viruses in the land. But they don't. You don't get sick because you don't have a cloth mask on or someone else wasn't wearing one. Now, if you're sick, I could see wearing one. I'm not gonna get into the science behind the mask because that is an absolute chaotic disaster because everybody can find whatever they want for whatever study. I could sit here forever and talk about studies that point to the mask not being effective up until a few weeks ago. Um, but we're not gonna bunny trail off that because the point remains, I think people would respond better to having the option to choose what they do with their body based on the evidence they have and not being forced into doing something because the rights of the individual don't matter. Um, all for the greater good, I guess but it's been awful, it's been divisive. Good leaders unite, they do not divide. And right now we're so busy bickering among each other, we can't even see that the real danger is uh, those behind the curtain um, from our city mayors, and I'm gonna talk about Helena's city mayor in a second, to our governors, all the way up to the presidents, all of them divide. It's one of their tactics for control and leadership. They divide the populace. We think of our enemy as somebody who's voting different when really the enemies are the ones that are writing these laws that are stripping people of their freedom. They did it after 9-11. They're doing it now. Let no crisis go to waste. So I wanna talk about something that's happening in Helena. Um, so Helena has probably the best farmer's market I have ever been to. It is incredible. I bought all my Christmas stuff this year, all for relatives at this thing. It is amazing. The local artists and um, the food vendors, this is an incredible farmer's market. And it's just kind of a tradition. It's outdoors, it's a sense of normalcy, honestly. So the guys who run it, the guys and gals who run this farmer's market, they are not rebels in any sense of the world. These guys toe the line of obedience. So when, uh, before the masks were even mandated, they required their vendors to wear them and they even refused vendors to be there who could not wear them. They're very strict about it. They're sanitizing all over the place. If you get too close to them, a few of them have handed me a little piece of paper saying we require social distancing. I mean, these guys intensely believe the government is looking out for them, right? They have towed the line. They have done everything they could possibly do to make this safe. Anything the government has said to do, they have done. 
All right, let's keep that in mind. Now, we have a mayor, Mayor Collins in Helena. Um, we've had some problems with him. There are a group of citizens that are trying to recall him. I have volunteered for this group one time. I just want to disclose that so you know where I'm coming from on my opinion of this. But um, Mayor Collins, about a month ago, participated in a protest. I won't say for what group, but I will say there were a thousand people there at the Capitol. He even spoke at this thing. So he's a big supporter of this. Everyone had on their masks on. But he was at this huge protest. Now we are a rural state. Getting a thousand people together is pretty impressive. It does not just happen flippantly, okay? A few weeks after he did this, um, the Board of Health and Mayor Collins came out and they said, you guys haven't been behaving yourselves. We're gonna put in some mandates if you don't stop all this, this gathering and getting together. And they did. They uh, canceled, there were a bunch of events planned, most heartbreakingly, some of them were proms that have been put off and they canceled them the day before they were supposed to take place. They canceled all these events, said no more events over 50 people because this virus has spread because you guys have been irresponsible and have been gathering. So I, uh, I put online, I said, I really feel like this is rules for thee, but not for me. Because Mayor Collins, who is saying this to us and talking to us like we're children, participated in a huge rally a few weeks ago. Now I wasn't against participation in rally because in my mind, the First Amendment should never go away. You should have the right to gather. So, um, my point wasn't that he participated in the rally. My point was, how come he gets to do that, but all these little gatherings are getting canceled and, you know, all this stuff wrecked. And one of his loyalists was sure to write me and explain, well, what you don't understand is Mayor Collins was outside and he was wearing a mask as were everybody else. It doesn't spread in those situations. So that's why what he was doing was okay. But you know, that little prom just can't go on. Okay then. So apparently it's different there. But then, no, no, no. That wasn't what they were talking about at all because they went ahead and they pulled the permit for the farmer's market outdoor farmers market that does not have a thousand people there that has been so obedient to whatever decree they put in and you know it's bad when those people who run that farmers market actually went ahead and held it without a permit last week and um, now some I think they're getting citations I don't know if they're getting misdemeanors I don't know what's happening but they are getting punished for this so they have hold it and they're not having it again. Now I'm sure some academics gonna come on here and explain to me how it's okay for the mayor to participate in a thousand people gathering um, where they had to have law enforcement in SWAT gear at one point because all the protesters decided that they were going to lock arms and march against the heavily armed Montana militia that was standing across the street. So they put people in danger just by that foolishness. I would never unarmed lock arms and think I'm just gonna march at people who have huge guns and full gear on, especially for no point. Like just just to, because they felt entitled to do that. So um, that's okay. But the little farmer's market isn't. If you cannot see the hypocrisy in all this, the hypocrisy from our mayors and county health boards up to our governor, up to everyone in Washington, then I am sorry for you. What's it gonna take? What's it gonna take for you to see that this doesn't make any sense? Originally, we were two weeks locked down to flatten the curve. So the hospitals won't get overwhelmed. Well, good job. 
because a lot of the hospitals furloughed people. So yay, goal met, okay? Then it was the death counts were too high. The deaths are so high, we have to get the deaths down. Um, no, we can't, nope, you can't open up. The deaths are too high. Now the deaths have dropped, they're headed down. I don't know if they're gonna stay down, who knows? Um, but the cases have gone up because they started testing asymptomatic people and they discovered, lo and behold, this disease is everywhere already. Asymptomatic people are having this and the cases are going, but two days in the state of Montana after they issued the mask mandate, they reported that because they're running out of testing kits, they're gonna stop testing asymptomatic people. It's, I feel like I am living in the twilight zone. This is so bizarre. And I think what's bizarre is people are, are like, oh, we gotta flatten the curve. Oh, we gotta get the deaths down. Oh, no, 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 we gotta get the cases down. It's like, well, I'm sorry, we went from a 3.6% death rate in the state of Montana when we were just, you know, doing regular testing. When we started doing asymptomatic testing, we went down to a 2.8% just in those few weeks. So what is the death rate? What is the death rate? Well, we won't really know because now we've stopped testing asymptomatic people. So we're just testing people who are sick. And it's already widespread. But, you know, wear your mask because it's going to keep people from getting it. So I don't know. It just seems like this. It's like a big horse and pony show. And uh, we're supposed to all participate in this in this tearing apart of each other. And, you know, your enemy is that person not wearing a mask or that person who is wearing a mask. And it's like, no, no, look up the ladder. Look up at the ladder at who's asking the citizens to police each other. That's where your enemy is right now, honestly. So I wanted to let everyone know that there is a rally planned for July 25th, which is Saturday from 11 to 2 p.m. at the Capitol. I'm not putting it on. I actually know very little about it. I'm gonna to try to go, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it. But this is a rally about the mask mandate. And uh, honestly, we can only change things from the local level up. Um, do not ask for the feds to come in and fix stuff. You do not want that. We need to handle our business in our states and get these tyrants out of power, get their powers stripped from them and return the power to the people. Because I do not want my children growing up in a dictatorship where they have no face, they have no voice, they are anonymous in the rights of a community and the rights of the individual no longer matter. So yes, rally, July 25th, 11 to two at the Capitol and like I said, I don't know much about it, but that I will probably be there. So thanks everybody. And uh, go ahead and like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to it. Uh, let me know what you feel about all this. Um, I gotta tell you, I would like to go to the grocery store and not see everybody hating each other again. So wouldn't that be nice? Thanks everyone.